Hey you guys, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer. Thanks very much for watching. So this is a very large episode for Grapes Solana Alpha. We've got a few things we're going to discuss. Before we get right to it, I want you to please uh, do that for me so that you can continue to receive some Grapes Solana Alpha. Uh, there is a weekly newsletter that's uh, being published uh, all day, all, all week for every uh, Grape member and also non-Grape members. So you can feel free to read this as well and see what's happening within the Grape universe. So the first thing we're gonna talk about, uh, and I'm gonna just quickly go through these topics and remember there are timelines down below so you click on whichever topic you want we're going to have a look at the Solana ignition hackathon participants and have a look at some of the um, projects that are, might be up and coming so you can continue to, to get great alpha we're going to have a look at the TVL and we'll see why uh, Solana is actually uh, why serum is actually having oh serum is now the top uh, top one oh interesting Sabre's going down and down and down Oh, guys, oh, something to look out for, yeah? And then we're gonna have a look at the AVA demo. So AVA is a decentralized betting protocol on Solana. We've got an interview with them later on today. Uh, they're quite interesting. Uh, they seem very serious and uh, they've got their own uh, um, project in the Ignition Hackathon. After that, we'll have a look at Upfly, which is a stable coin partially backed by collateral. We know how those usually go, but especially in Solana, we haven't had this kind of stable coin before at least not mainstream and uh, we know how this goes on Ethereum uh, and they quite easily lose their peg and then everyone's stuffed. After that we'll have a look at the Apricot mainnets which is very interesting we've been waiting for this to happen for a while and we'll have a look at the Solrise Dawn um, 2 and the golden ticket and kind of the funds how they're performing we'll have a look at Whale's friend to see what he's doing in there We'll have a look at Frankium. They just released a new uh, leverage position calculator. So it's really interesting. And I think uh, they probably want to give more education to the community. MVP, the uh, Happy Protocol just released their MVP and it's a really in um, informative video about what the Happy Protocol is supposed to be doing for the ecosystem and how like, you can easily um, stop bad fraudsters from uh, working from using the Solana protocol and using the Solana blockchain and at the end of it we'll look at the crop up finance and see what kind of whitelist uh, issues there are and whitelist uh, things you can do so uh, at the end of it we'll also look at the interviews happening today uh, happening this week for for the great protocol there are a few of them I think there's four and then we'll have a look at uh, NFT volumes and upcoming mints all right so without further ado let's get to it thanks very much for watching So we start the episode with the TVL in Solana ecosystem. And I wanna let you know something. We actually broke our all-time high TVL in Solana. So our all-time high was 12.2, but only a couple of days ago, we broke it to 12.07, but we've since been rejected from that. So I don't know if uh, that has any significant meaning, but hey, we broke all-time high. We have a new all-time high to go. Let's have a look at the dominance. Uh, Serum is now dominating at 17.06. It is now number one where it actually should be because 90% of everything on Solana actually runs on Serum. And we have Sabre trailing down at 1.7 billion. So there's no big changes except for Atrix, which is now shut up to 400 mil, uh, basically due to all their new farms that they're um, using. And also they have a new uh, DAO proposal that they're going through to Serum to try and request some money so that they can incentivize more TVL into the Atrix platform. Um, otherwise, there's nothing else. We see a differentiation between Almond and uh, Atrix. Almond is 12. Uh, 217 mil and Larix is 219 mil. They're very closely associated, but I think a lot of people still aren't comfortable using Almond, even more so, you know, Atrix. And nothing else has really changed. Fabric and Jet still going strong. Brankim has really shot up its TVL to 500 uh, th million, uh, basically because of the new farms that they've implemented. All right, we'll move on. All right, guys, so for the first tutorial, we have AVER, so AVA. They are a decentralized betting platform on Solana. They recently gave their application into the Solana Ignition Hackathon. This is what the basic platform looks like. You could bet against uh, other people for either soccer, sports, whatever, really, whatever the Oracle on Solana, whatever Pyth can give them. So uh, the current betting you can do is uh, AVA to win prizes in the Solana Ignition Hackathon. People are betting yes, people are betting no. 
uh, uh, Trump to win the US election in 2024. People are bidding yes, people are bidding no. And uh, Dev uh, actually was kind enough to give us another bet that we're going to be looking at in five hours. So we're going to do a bet on this and then in five hours we're going to come back and see how we can claim our rewards. So this is the um, Solana Monkey Business floor, 20th October. So the floor price, are we going to say it's going to be below 200 sol? It's going to be between 200 and 230 sol or it's going to be greater than 230. So let's go ahead and make a bet and then in five hours we're going to come back and either claim our rewards and see if we lost. Before that let's have a look at the actual ignition um, um, the actual ignition uh, post that they gave. Uh, this is uh, AVA, it is an ecosystem of protocols and decentralized applications to facilitate markets on the Solana blockchain. Okay, so this is their dev post. This is it at the moment. So they have seven likes and uh, the created by Gabby Gaddy, uh, Sian Brecknack, uh, Sian Brecknack, sorry mate, I'm <laughs> butchering your name, and Vignesh Natalambi. TLDR, Eva offers a generalized model for decentralized betting, which enables real world events to be traded and speculated upon on chain. Um, they have a few uh, inspirations and, and um, what it does, what you can do, the wallets, the betting, the decks, and there's a shop front as well. And they use, uh, they also have a Python SDK. So um, it's really good. It looks promising at the moment. I'm going to leave the link for them down here below. Let's go ahead and show you how you can make a bet on Eva, very simply. So in the first top right corner, you'll see there, uh, you just connect your wallet, which is normal, connect using Phantom, which is really easy. And next to that, just request an airdrop. So this is going to give you a thousand USDZ, uh, which is a test token just for USDC, and also one soul for you to be able to make your transactions. So let's do the, let's go ahead and request this and it'll come right away. Um, that being said, let's have a look at which uh, markets we actually want to participate in. I think we will do the, uh, the, Trump to win an election in 2024 and also uh, Solana monkey business to floor. Let's say in Trump 2024, is he going to win? I think no, he is not going to win. So I'm going to bet, click on that. No, he's not going to win. The price is 0 0.49. And uh, let's, how much are we going to stake on this? So I'm going to stake $500. So if actually, according to the odds at the moment, the current return is 1,020. So this takes all the other uh, opponents' bets on the other side of the bet. Let's go ahead and place black bet. And it's going to go ahead and improve the transaction for me. And the transaction has been successful. Awesome. Okay. Now let's go down to the Solana monkey business. Uh, Solana monkey business, uh, the price floor, do I think it's going to be below 200 or greater than 230? I actually think it'll be uh, between between 200 and 230. Let's actually go ahead and check what the price of it is now. All right, so looking at Sol analysis, we see Solana monkey business still in first and the floor price is actually 215. So let's go over back, let's go back here. But 215, so it's between 200 and 229. Um, I think in the next five hours is going to stay there. I don't anticipate any move. So I'm gonna make a bet here. So I'm gonna bet another $500 and what's gonna be the return? It's going to be uh, 1,020. Instead of 500, let's bet just 100. And it's gonna be 303. So those are, those are according to the prices of the bet. Let's go ahead and place that bet. And in five hours from now, we're gonna come back and see if it actually stays within that price and actually claim our winnings. All right, it's very easy, it's very intuitive and they actually provide different markets for you. So they go, um, they do the, uh, this is just a test, this are the grand finals. You can do this as a racing game, horse races, uh, Chelsea versus Norwich, if you like soccer, if you like football, if you feel any other kind of market that you think you can get um, the oracles for, th this is a good place to bet, especially if you're, a, um, if you're a speculator. Now they do have other items such as the Ava Dex, uh, which is taking too long to load and also Avar Mint. Let's go ahead and look at their documents as well. They're a very thorough team and uh, so we have an interview coming up with them in about uh, two days or so. We'll see how they go. It's not loading. Well, anyway, we'll move on. Oh no, there it is. So this is their Ignition Hackathon uh, video. Uh, they give you kind of the prerequisites, uh, terminology, preferences, even the API overview. So it's very thorough. I would uh, re recommend you do give a read of this if you're planning to use their platform. Next up is UpFi. They recently tweeted that the testnet is officially live. So what is UpFi? UpFi is a staple coin partially backed by collateral and partially stabilized algorithmically. Now it should be noted they won a previous Solana hackathon um, prize. So let's have a look at their app and see what they, you can actually do in the testnet.
All right, so looking at the Upfi DevNet, the website is actually devnet.upfi.network uh, and I'll leave it down here below. Look in the top right hand side here, we have our wallet and make sure it is actually in DevNet, otherwise you're not doing anything. So they have uh, charts that we can have a look here, but uh, not interested in that at the moment. I'm interested in the APR, which is 18,000% at the moment. Remember, this is just DevNet, so it's good to have an idea of how it will work. Before you do anything, go down to the faucet and claim some DevNet Sol, DevNet USDC and DevNet up five for you to actually work in this environment. The mint feature uh, works quite well. You just uh, put in the amount you want to mint. So remember, this is partially collateralized uh, with uh, UPS. So you're going to use USDC and UPS to mint UpFi stablecoin. Okay, at the same time, you can come back and redeem. So let's try and redeem some stuff. I've got a balance of UpFi 10. I want to redeem that. It's going to give me USDC 9.975, which is 99.75%. And it's going to give me 0.25% of UPS, which is 0. 833. Let's try and redeem this. I'm going to approve this and let's try it see if it worked. So balance was 100 USDC before. Let's see how much it is now. Oh, there's no refresh button. Oh, there should be. You guys should implement a refresh button. Either way, all good. So for now, there is a small farm that we can experiment with. Uh, so there is a UpFi USDC, which is the stablecoin stable coin, uh, pool, and it's giving you 18,000%. And what is it actually giving you? It's giving you UPS rewards. Let's try and deposit into this pool. We can't because I used all my UpFi, okay? And I had $100, uh, and now I have $109. So kind of the, the smart contracts do actually work. We can view the smart contract here. Uh, let's see if I can claim another UpFi to see if I can uh, distribute some into the farm. Uh, no, it can't be confirmed. I wonder if there's a timer, just like six hours for the USDC. It's quite interesting. It works. It works so far. Um, I'm gonna in six hours. I'm gonna deposit some myself into here and see if I can harvest some um, UPS uh, governance token. Okay, it's very easy. Go ahead and try it. Good luck. All right, so Apricot has actually come onto mainnet now. We've been anticipating this for a while. So what is Apricot? It is a lending protocol on Solana. They have uh, three products at the moment, Apricot Lend, XFarm, and Apricot Assist. Apricot Lend is gen generally the lending and borrowing, as we know, some, some of them are Frankium, some of them are Mango Markets, that sort of stuff. X farm, you can first in market cross margin leveraged yield farming. Slightly complicated, we'll have a look so you can see. And also feel free to experiment with this if you want. Apricot assist as well is auto deleveraging to reduce liquidation risks. So let's go ahead and go into the app and see what kind of rates are being offered at the moment. TVL in Apricot Finance is 195 million to be honest and uh, and also total market borrowed is 111 million. So they've got some more deposits than they are borrowed. That's good, that's good. Let's have a look at some of the rates. Solana a rate is deposit rate is 13.12, BTC 0.7, USDC 8, USDT 15%. Uh, interesting. I wonder if you can now uh, borrow USDC and uh, lend USDC somewhere else on another platform. Let's look at the X Lend. So deposit any token you have, even your own LP tokens at a Lend tab and start farming up to 3x leverage. So this is uh, leveraging your stable coins to farm more stable coins. That's incredible. And also they have, lastly, they do have the apricot assist on the bottom left hand side there. And they do have an explanation explanation as to what the apricot assist does for you. Basically, it stops you from losing money. So uh, if you're interested in learning about this, there's the docs on the bottom left hand side. Um, so it's quite interesting. I might be lending some soul farm here. And uh, remember, they might have some uh, airdrops for people that uh, help their platform early on. That isn't guaranteed at the moment, it's just speculation, but feel free to lend something and borrow something here as well with a small amount just so you can experiment and see which lending and borrowing platform is the better one on Solana at the moment. Solarize Dawn number two has officially started. We have our ticket. Let's have a look and see what the kind of investments we can do. Remember, this is a highly anticipated product being delivered to Solana at the moment. Let's go ahead and connect with my Phantom. Remember, you need actually a Golden Dawn uh, ticket to be able to participate in this. And they gave this out uh, throughout the Solana ecosystem. I think Grape had around 100 to give away, but the Solarize and other platforms were giving away their own Solarize tickets. So All In Cope is actually up with the highest fund performance at 36 plus 36 percent but he's only got a fund value of 1.4k let's have a look at the other fund values who is the highest which is iceberg soul and d mark these two were the uh neck and neck in the last solana soul rise um uh competition and they, they were just going at each other kind of uh 
performance, performance, performance on top of each other. Um, so Iceberg Soul is currently leading with a 2.6% increase in his funds. Remember, everyone started with $200 only. So you could either be a fund manager or you can be an investor. Um, and you could divvy that up which, however you wanted. Um, I myself am not a, I'm not a trader, I'm not a marketer, I'm not a manager, I am an investor. So I have my funds in Iceberg and DMARC. You can see me on Twitter, I follow him very often and I often reply to him. So I have high faith that these guys will deliver something. Now, that being said, I think there are other people that you should actually keep an eye on, such as Pikachu Capital and Kevin LP. So this guy has come out of nowhere. He's got a 6% return and he's got high funds as well. So you can probably see him on Twitter and see what he's up to and see what kind of what his uh, trading uh, strategy is like. The leaderboard is the same thing. We're gonna see uh, some of the total profits, uh, performances and investor prof profit as well. And for managers, I can't see that at the moment because I'm not a manager. I haven't created a manager account. So this is all um, you know, all on mainnet at the moment. So people are trading this on mainnet. Then remember, it's only $200 uh, maximum for each deposit. That being said, uh, Solrise is actually aiming to be one of the major players in investment funds and funds um, management. So they're going to have a DEX, a permissioned DEX that other hedge funds and other companies, banks perhaps can come and use their funds to trade and kind of in increase their return. It's very interesting. Um, it's nice to see the transition of uh, Soul Rise from DevNet to Mainnet. I don't know why, but actually the DevNet experience seemed a lot better than the Mainnet experience. This seems very bland. I think they need to up their UI um, experience because as a retail person, this doesn't look very appealing to me, uh, to be honest. And the DevNet looked much, much better. Next up is Frankim. They recently released a, a yield farming calculator, so for leveraged yield farming. So this is a calculator for you to input some values in and get out what what a new rate you will have when your position is actually liquidated. So for example, let's take an orca price of ten dollars. So we have an orca price of ten dollars. We know that our kill position is um, when the orca price reaches six point four dollars, and our equity value is now forty percent, which means means you know it's basically not worth it and it also gives you the opposite side of it when um, on the right hand side where you can see if orca changes to twenty dollars then you'll have a uh, equity value of two hundred percent you can change these to the current pools such as atlas uh, you and polis usdc what assets you're going to borrow orca usdc and what kind of leverage you're using so obviously the higher the leverage the closer your kill position is the only if it's only a 1x then it doesn't is it's just like you're holding the coin you don't really have a giant kill position unless it goes to zero unless your coin actually goes to zero you know so 2x position um, is very interesting um, that uh, if orca goes to three dollars and sixty then it's going to kill my position so this is quite interesting so if you're actually using frankium to um, leveraged yield farm i really suggest you try and do some simulations for this and see how how um, much the price can fluctuate in the coin that you're farming and see if you are actually in a safe position because i think a lot of people go ahead and uh, start leveraged yield farming and don't understand how easily they can lose their funds happy protocol recently released their mvp only a couple of uh, days ago like two days ago so there's a video down here it's about five minutes i'm going to leave the link for you down here below but let's read what their actual mvp says so as we approach date of the MVP release uh, they're gonna explain to you what it does so um, let's have a look at the main functions the very first pillar on which the whole protocol is footed is the bulwark system and they explain it in the video itself it's a mechanism for data propagation across all entities connected to the protocol or in simple terms notification about illicit activities um, and there's also binary risk categorization uh, so happy puts a risk categorization to all protocols or all kind of uh, wallets that that uses uh, the happy protocol so you're either a one or a zero a one is a risky zero is a non-risky let's go ahead and look at some of the tiers they do uh, differentiate some of them so a low tier would be a wallet service a uh, merchant service a mining pool or a low risk exchange then you go on to the medium risk such as a uh, medium risk exchange DeFi, otc broker atm gambling a high risk exchange, a high risk activity, which is illicit organizations, a mixer, a dark net service, a scam, ransomware or theft. And then you have your severe risk with terrorism, some sanctions, counterfeit and child, child abuse, unfortunately. Um, so this is uh, quite interesting. And this is really, really, I'm excited to see what kind of um, 
what kind of traction this can bring because if a um, if a dex a, a centralized exchange can know that this um this wallet has interacted with a tier three or tier four wallet then they know for sure that they will not be accepting those funds into the exchange uh, it kind of brings a, some kind of a closed loop system into the, um, the um, cryptocurrency ecosystem but at the same time we also don't want to be receiving coins that have been used somewhere illegally do you um, so that's kind of the risk that we're willing to take in DeFi at the moment. Is it actually super, super free and you can get anything? That means you're kind of you're, you're complicit in the activities as well by financing these guys. Or do you want to be a bit safer and uh, use the uh, happy protocol and make sure the funds you receive have, have are clean funds. They've just been mined of the, or there's just been staking rewards and they haven't been used for anything bad. I, I, this is a new new section in protocol security so let's have a look at this I'm not too sure how it's going to go to be honest so Cropper just announced their actual uh, launch pad it's called Cropper finances a fertilizer so it's actually uh, where farmers are able to register for a whitelist that gives them access to community farm events prior to the projects being open to the public so this is a really good alpha here fertilizer events only feature projects carefully reviewed and chosen by the Cropper finance team to learn more about it go to the medium article so basically here's the schedule friday october 22nd whitelist opens for registration and then the whitelist op closes uh, in about three days after that and then tuesday you have a community farm open and then a lottery awards for airdrops and nfts now now they're really getting interesting so the rewards and tips on registering for an event we're excited to announce that the cropper finance will be airdropping 50k crp in lottery rewards to 10,000 winners plus four nfts cropper founder um, avatars one each to celebrate our first fertilizer event so it's really interesting you have to do a few things you have to go to the whitelist registration do a few actions and then of course the fertilizer kicks off i'm 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 uh to be honest i have some crp myself i'm providing liquidity for them and i think some of the best ways to earn money in the Solana ecosystem or any in any crypto ecosystem is to be part of the launch pads when they first open because once once you get a guaranteed allocation to a um, to a new protocol uh, you can really extract value from from that time until it starts listing on the public exchanges or not an exchange just uh, going to radium or orca or anywhere else where it's trading at a much higher premium all right so guys let's finish up this episode uh let's look at the market cap of uh nfts in solano at the moment and we can see it's been a red couple of days uh market cap has actually shot down to 647 people aren't so enthusiastic about nfts on solano at the moment we haven't been hearing many good drops happening so uh, smb is still the top at 14.53 percent and then dgen ape is still going second um so all of them are kind of uh down at the moment and i haven't seen anything that's performing well solarians are still going strong but they've decreased down to five soul uh, and grim syndicate is now coming up at 27 percent there haven't been much changes in the nft space at the moment i think uh, we're reaching a lull in the nft marketplace now is a really bad time for you to sell your nfts if you're looking to sell i think uh, now is a good time to consolidate and have a look at the really good nft projects that have great communities that are going to be lasting this little bear market in nfts in solana so now's a good time to get those really good nfts that actually provide you value such as the smb if you want to be part of a specific dow now might be a good time to scoop one up let's have a look at some of the upcoming nft projects looking at this page i don't see many ones that seem really interesting they all have canvax looks okay it's a collection of ai generated nft paintings on solana blockchain 0.75 so um, and going down the line all of these seem pretty basic all of them are very general like look at this miss fries that's very generic art and it looks really crappy it look, looks like the, the the quality just keeps going down and down and down the squids is copyright from the netflix tv show you know dazed raccoons soldiers of solana uh, cosmic relays wealth of nations i know barn dog shout out to barn dog recently covered them uh, and all of these just look really low effort like look at this soul street that's from the wall street that's nah nah guys i think now now is not a good time to get into new nft mints unless unless it has some kind of niche or something else that's happening to it a, a, a product that it's releasing it, it might not get good enough traction because the solana nft market space is so saturated at the moment it's so easy for them to mint nfts and they just mint and move on mint and move on collect the money from you all right, that, that's my take at the moment. If you find some really good NFTs you think are worthwhile and are coming up, just put them down here below so other people can see as well. 
Now let's go ahead and do that uh, AVA um, betting. All right guys, so it's been about five hours uh, since the AVA uh, betting that I made. Let's go ahead and see what the actual uh, winnings are if I won anything. So remember you log in in the top right hand side corner here and let's have a look at all the markets at the moment. So um, where are they? Where are they? Let's go ahead and look at the resolved markets. Let's go. There we are, Solana Monkey business below 200 and that one resolved. Damn, so the Solana Monkey business, there's an NFT trading under below 200 uh, at the moment, Solana. That's crazy, I thought it wouldn't wouldn't move. It's only been like five hours. So the 200 to 230 is where I bet, I think it was 218 or something, that uh, is a false. And greater than 230, that is a false as well. So let's go ahead and look at uh, our winnings if we were to go and claim something. You go down to the mint and go all the way down to the Solana Monkey business. Let's click on that. And you can see here, below 200 is actually the winner. And uh, there's actually 30,000 USDZ in circulation. So I actually um, talked to the dev developer and he was able to give me some winning tickets because guess what guys, I ended up losing the bet. But I wanted to show you what it's like when you actually do win something. So shout out to him, he's very nice and he was able to give me some winning tickets. Let's click collect and see what actually happens. You click on collect, so congratulations, I bet below 200 uh, for the Solana Monkey business. I win 200 USDZ, so thank you very much. Uh, remember, this is all DevNet, this isn't actually real. Click on winnings and let's see what happens. Sign the transaction, process complete. Nice, oh, so that's just, I, I did it twice, that's all. So you can see this transaction here, we can go and read that if we want. Oh, and nice, so that's right, that's so easy. It's very, very intuitive, very easy to actually bet if you want, and it makes it actually quite dangerous for people to bet. <laughs> uh, so that's it for now, yeah? Thanks for watching with me.